Hello guys, today is probably one of the most special um, episodes on this channel because I'm happy to say I will be the first one on YouTube to be reviewing Zombie Beheaded from Distortions Unlimited and I will be reviewing this one later but since no one has done a review on this one I wanted to go ahead and get, get him out of the way in case anyone else tried to but, I, yeah, so we're going to be reviewing that one. I might talk a little bit about this one, but it's not going to be a full review on these one, on this one, Corpse Beheaded. So, I'm just going to get, like, alright, I'm just going to start the video, is what I'm trying to say. So, if you all don't know, there's a, real, there's a company called Distortions Unlimited who make really, really high quality uh, foam filled props. Well, not all of them are foam filled, but... Usually the static props are foam filled. Pr pretty much all of them are foam filled, and some lots of them are animatronics. And it's it's like it's not like Spirit Halloween. It's like well, I like Spirit Halloween more, but they make a lot better things than Spirit. And um, this is one of them. And if y'all want to get him, he is at um, uh, go to Distortions Unlimited. You search that up, and their website will pop up. But yeah, I got this, um, in summer, so these are not, I got this last summer, so these are not new. These are a little old, I mean, not too old, but I got, I got this pretty much as soon as he released the video for it. Um, I do like this one better than that one, because I love the colors, um, I love the, uh, eyes, um, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, yeah, I like the yellow, it's new, you don't usually see a zombie with yellow, and I think that's really cool, um, I like the tongue, how there's hot glue on it, he put hot glue on it, um, he put it all over it, and it feels really good, I like his eyes, um, he, d these are not, these are not, um, what am I trying to say, these are not mass produced, these are handmade, um, and there's a video he uploaded of pretty much a demo of him doing this. And then he made one where uh, he kind of showed making it, the eyes. So, he put glossing over the eyes. He made it look really good. And if y'all don't know, I probably should have said that his, uh, like, one of the first things. These are actually puppets. Both of these are puppets. You hold it up, and there's a fake realistic hand, and it looks like that you're holding it. Um, but if you are, if you are considering on buying this one, be really careful. Instead of like uh, doing that, you actually put it the other way. So like, here, when you're lifting it up and you put your hand in there, I don't know if you can see. There's a little tiny space on top. That's for your thumb. And then the bottom is for your, um, is for the rest of your fan. So, um, yeah, uh, so don't make the mistake I did. I almost broke it. Uh, so don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. This one, you can do it either way. When, when, it, when you, if you hold it the same way you do on that one, then usually that's the direction that you can move the tongue. But, yeah, and I just want to know, with this one, um, I try not to use it that much, because, um, you can tell, like, if, whenever you put your hand in it, that that foam could break, and, yeah, that's scary. So, yeah, back to this one. Uh, back to this one. The detail is really nice. He added a bunch of those marks on it i like his nose i like how they added this one and the cut i'll try to get under there hold on i'll have to lift them up a little bit that's the cut under Make sure it's not... All right. so yeah he's a really cool item hold on let me get back in focus and he's really cheap they're 85 dollars each there's there's four of them there's four of them. Uh, one's a, the other one, like Headless Helen or something. She's a girl, and then there's Fresh Cut, and he's a boy. So yeah, I I'm planning on collecting the whole series for the 
beheaded props. But until then, um, yeah, it's probably going to be a while because these, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I guess I will try to like use them on screen. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to set this up on my cat's tower so I can, uh, so I can get that head. Oh my gosh, my face. Yeah, you see my face, my ugly face. All right, so let me get it on here. So this is zombie beheaded. Let me make sure the camera's getting it because I don't know if it is or not. Gotta get close to it. All right, I think it is. So this is what it looks like. This actually looks like it's my hand, but my hand's in here. I'm controlling the tongue that way. And then I can move my finger if I move my hand like that. I can do that. So this is really cool. It's really foamy. Foamier than the other one. Uh, yeah, I like his hair. It's really cool. It's an old looking type hair thing. But it falls out a lot. That's the only problem I have with it. His hair gets all over the place and it kind of falls a lot. So, yeah, I guess that's, um... Him, let me set him down. So yeah, that's basically um, what it looks like when it's on someone's hand. But so yeah, like as you guys, if you can see all that hair, it's like falling out. I usually just put it back up here on the top. But yeah, this is a really cool item, and I encourage you to go on the Sources Unlimited website to pick this up because it's really cheap and. You can probably do a lot of good scares with it. Um, if you want a more realistic... Well, I like this one better, but if you want a more realistic thing, like if you want to do a prank, I'd probably go with this one, because it, it is does resemble uh, a human. I mean, obviously, it's that's a zombie. So, if you want to actually scare someone, or look really good with one, I'd recommend this one. But if you want a more creative one... I'd go with this one. Like, this is squishy foam. I mean, it's squishy. I mean, not too squishy, but this one, it's, like, really, really foam-filled, you can tell. So, I guess that's the end of the review. Um, so, yeah, I guess um, I'll do a review on this one here soon. Probably not today. Probably tomorrow. But, yeah, until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.